And I don't need to be a professor because professor complicates the simple thing. <laughs> Creativity, innovation, not always expensive. Because ideas and more uh, comprehension. From permanent mission of Iran, and I would like to ask His, uh, His Excellency a question regarding the metaverse. Never break, always fight, never quit, always right, play the game, play life, have no shame. Hey guys, I'm Didier Giovanni and I'm right now in front of the um, building WIPO here in Geneva and I'm going to uh, attend the uh, launching book of Hirma Van Kartajaya. Uh, the book is called um, Entrepreneurial Marketing and this is going to be very interesting. I hope that I will get the book. Anyway, so follow me and let's get in. Okay, I have to scan this to get it. Last four. It's gonna be yes. There's so many uh, security gates that uh, people have to pass. So guys, I'm now inside the uh, building of WIPO, where I'm going to uh, see the launching book of uh, entrepreneurial uh, marketing by organized by the. Uh, permanent mission of the Republic of Indonesia here in Geneva and uh, you know that the, the writer is the guru of marketing in Asia uh, Mr. Hemawan Kartajaya so I'm really curious eager to know uh, his uh, uh, launching uh, his book here in Geneva this must be very very interesting so uh, stay tuned and here we are Here we go. So, 13th floor. Yeah. So, I'm going to see a very. You see that I already explained that Hermawan Kertajaya, Bapa Hermawan Kertajaya, is in uh, Geneva right now to launch his book that he has written with the Philip, with Philip Kotler, the guru of marketing strategy. So here we are, book launching. Uh, this one, we are late. How Father of modern marketing. 
at the outset, I may command that we have high expectation for the group. Uh, since the concept of entrepreneurship, uh, marketing is intended to answer the current and future challenges in, in marketing. And today we have uh, the privilege to learn more about this book. Before we start, I would like to uh, inform uh, all of us the agenda for today. First, the opening uh, of the event by our permanent representative, uh, Ambassador Tadir. Uh, remarks and presentation by Fahir Mawad and remarks and as discussed by Fahiri Prasetio. And finally, question and answers. To start the event, I would like to thank the Vice His Excellency, uh, Arubas, Ambassador of India, to give his opening remarks. Thank you, Sanvi, and good afternoon to all of colleagues, and especially my dear brother, Ambassador Khalil. Welcome to the uh, gathering and I have to make a disclaimer that I'm not an expert on marketing but I'm just the provocator to, to create this gathering and give the uh, forum for uh, Hermawan to share with us on his uh, latest book. Uh, I think it's not every day that you will see Indonesian mission will host a gathering for book discussion it's always uh, for the focus group discussion on certain issue, but not the book discussion. So today is a special day for even for me. But I believe that I we can learn one or two things, very important thing from you. Uh, the reason why we host this event is that first, of course, because of the idea that we brought by Paher Mawan into the book, which include not only the uh, mainstream marketing uh, uh, element, but also the new one, which include some local wisdom from Indonesia. And it's very interesting. And I believe uh, it's, it deserves more of our uh, time and attention to listen uh, closely to what we're going to say. The other thing is, I think, uh, in your book, you mentioning about creativity, innovation, entrepreneurship, and leadership. And that's exactly what WIFO will bring into the, uh, to highlight in their work in, in Geneva. I still remember uh, DG Darentang, maybe Ali uh, still also remember, when he first elected as a DG of WIFO, we want to make sure that the issue of intellectual property rights go down to earth. It's not only a, a couple of uh, article or uh, formulation of the uh, wording in governing the intellectual property, but also being able to be used as a mean to create, to induce innovation, creativity, and entrepreneurship. So I think when you mentioning about your new book, there's in my in my in my opinion, there's no other place which is more relevant to be able to launch your book apart from my book. So here we are. Thank you so much for your kind uh, time that you share uh, spend with us. And I just don't want to make a further a comment because you are the, the star. It's not me. So with that, I would like to uh, add my uh, remarks at this stage. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. for the uh, kind of remarks, and I invite by Mawa. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Yeah, I stand up here so to make a closer place with you. So. Thank you so much, Pa Ambassador. Only one week ago, when I was in Greater Lakan, Switzerland, I got the news that the book already out. Actually, I've been working with Professor Phil Potter, the father of modern marketing, now 91 years old, at Kellogg Business School, Northwestern University, for 25 years. And this is my 11th book. 11 title, 11 title. And Wiley, uh, Wiley US, the publisher, is very optimistic about 
this book. That's why I was very happy and tried to persuade the ambassador to do something in Geneva. How we do anything, even small or big, I know uh, one week is not enough, but this is a special ambassador. And I was, wow! And Ibu Sofia working very hard, the Park Chandra, to prepare all this beautiful landscape. We can see Lake Geneva from here, Lake Geneva, and then see the fountain also. So thank you so much, Pak. Thank you so much. Mark Pairi, uh, the WIPO officer eh, now, diplomat also from Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Thank you for being here just to give comment about the digital time itself. I prepare not so many slides. I know this is not a scientific session, but I would like to promote the idea. But first, please uh, play the 44 second video. Uh, the first slide. Can you help? Uh, the, yeah. This is the interlaken event. I think yes, uh, uh, hey. for the first time, right. for the first time, the first time in Indonesia, Iger. company with the creativity, innovation, entrepreneurship, and leadership, CL, CL, CL in France is Paradise or Sky. They have to open the outlet in Interlaken. And this is the CL action for me, not PIPM action. PIPM means productivity, improvement, professional, and management. In a certain time, productivity is not enough. Not creativity. You don't need to be creative. Productivity. As long as you have KPI, and then you achieve the KPI, you yes. know. And then improvement. What in Japanese they say, Kaisen. Kaisen is improvement. Today must be better than yesterday, and tomorrow must be better than today. And then professionalism. By university and school and whatever, school of business, school of diploma, school of law, school of whatever. Prepare you to be a professional. And number four is management. But today, with very uncertain era of the pandemic, not only pandemic, Russia, Ukraine, and then West China, whatever, 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 nobody can predict what is happening. So, all of us, whether it is small medium enterprise or diplomat, even, or Business executive or everyone should be creative in order to enhance the productivity. Productivity will be limited without creativity. Improvement will be limited without innovation. Professionalism even will be limited without technology. And management will be limited without leadership. That is the summary of my slide. So, okay, this is the Professor Bill Potter, 91 years old now, and he told, he told me, everyone, you are still 75 years old. 75. Life begins at 70 in the US. So you are still 5 years old. I'm 21. Huh? You eat cheese. I eat nasi in Indonesia, right? Nasi is rice, nasi goreng, fried rice. It's different. Sir, no, 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 no. You have the spirit not like 75 years old. I'm 75 years old. So, he told me, you must contribute to the world. He does not need money anymore because it's rich from the textbook. This textbook is used and being used until now for bachelor degree, master degree, PhD degree in business. So, if you go to business college anywhere in the world, I think the name of Philip Potter will be remembered. I'm nothing. 
I'm from Indonesia. And I'm a very sorry in engineering school. So I don't have any bachelor degree. I used to be a teacher for 30 years teaching mathematics. But after 15 years of teaching, the government of Indonesia found out that I don't have any certificates in bachelor degree. So I went to business school. But never attended one class and passed. And my master degree is from UK, just distant learning. And my PhD degree from honorary um, doctorate degree from the same engineering school that I didn't complete. And my professorship, five. But from Malaysia, from Korea, from other countries. But I, I never use I never use my title because I, I don't have the right. But I met in quarter about 1998, 25 years ago, and Indonesia was in a crisis. The worst crisis country in the world at that time is Indonesia. Asian crisis. Korea crisis, and the Tom Yapko crisis, blah, 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 but Indonesia is the worst. 1998, I still remember. But I was the president of Asia Pacific Marketing Federation, and the Russian invited me to go to Moscow. No war. And they want to learn from the, the West. They invited me to the they invited me. What happened in Indonesia? And how marketing can help the Asian crisis? But we have got no answer because he has no idea about ASEAN, no idea about Asia, no idea about Indonesia. And then he met me, but he remember me. I know your name, Nirmawan. Your name was quoted by another professor in Global Marketing Textbook. And I used the book for teaching Global Marketing. Every professor used my book for teaching, but I used Professor Leonardo Nikit Kudu. Yes, I met him in Morton and then he quoted my model. Yeah, my model is very simple. Yeah, but explain to me. And nobody spoke English at the time in Russia. That is a blessing, blessing in disguise. And then I in, in, ex, explained everything and then he told me, this is the simplification of my complex textbook. Let's go author together. Wow, I was very happy about this crisis. <laughs> I can only simplify the complex thing. Sorry, so many professors complicate the simple thing. <laughs> so he was not angry. He's American, you know. American is always open minded. And I confess to him, I don't have PhD, I don't have professorship. My English is not so good because I didn't go to US for schooling. My son, yes. My daughter, yes. But I don't know. I don't need your English, I don't need your professorship, I don't need the PSC because I, I have everything. Just your idea. <laughs> so 1998 until now, 25 years. So, next. next. This is all my book before entrepreneurial marketing. One, two, three, four, five. This is the first book, Repositioning Asia when Asia was in crisis. Only five languages. But this book, becoming best business book in US. I am all the book as the content originator. So I originated the, the content and then I presented to William Potter and to Wiley. When they are happy, they publish. Now, very easy because they trust me. Wow, when here, very Difficult, very difficult, sir, to be honest, to be published by Wiley US because number one in trade book publisher, not textbook. Trade book, it is not selling, they will not publish your book. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, until ten. This is in 25 years. So, this is marketing 3.0, marketing with honesty. To be honest, this is the inspiration from Prophet Muhammad. I'm Catholic. I'm Catholic. But I know Islam a little bit because Indonesia is the biggest Muslim populated country in the world. And then Central Bank asked me as the consultant of Islamic banking in Indonesia. Let's see the Islamic banking from outside. And then I, I found out that marketing is honesty actually, human spirit. So many People use marketing for bad, but marketing for good. Wow, this book 27 languages. This is the starting. This is only five, 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 five. ASEAN. 
and 27 languages, and then 4.0 is about technology. You must be important to me. That's my one. Talk about technology now, digital, digital, digital. Okay, technology, 24 languages, and Architect 5.0, why is the best business book in the US? Because we are worried. With the technology, people are more easy to use the technology to cheat the customer. You say, right? Hmm. Now, our data in Google, who can guarantee that it will sell our data? Almost every day, I get messages from, I don't know, whoever. But that's why so many women professors are angry with the technology. One woman professor from Harvard, I think, uh, wrote 700 pages. And I wrote only marketing 5.0 by right? becoming practices good in the US. So 3.0, 4.0, 5.0, hopefully this December we will publish again 6.0. Meta marketing. Mm. So what happened in Meta? In Meta first, 2030. We believe that 2030 will be a new world with SDG anything, but metaphors will, will be happening in 2030. So, what happened with marketing in 2030? That will be my next book. But this is the series. Yeah? 6.0, 7.0, and 8.0. Because Philip Potter told me, let's work together until 2030, at least. Uh, he was born in 2031. So, he will take rest 2030, one year before 100 years. Wow. I will be 75, I don't know, 80 something. Okay, okay. okay, next. And this is a book. Wow, just out one week ago when I was in Interlaken, that's why I persuaded the ambassador. The ambassador is action. People with action. I try to use my book. And we are blessed today because of Ibu Sofia and Pak Jendra also. And what is the specialty? Pak Chandra used to work for my company only six months. <laughs> Yesterday he remembered me. Oh, but now you are this first one. I this first only six months. Yeah, in Indonesia. So this is six point old December, and this is March 14. Before the the book was really published, China and South Korea already signed. Wow. Wiley is very happy. Usually they wait until the real book come out and then they bring the book to Frankfurt Book Fair and then all the local publishers will see which one is good to be translated. But China and Korea is very fast because they know the name already. My book always translated into Korea and Chinese and many, many other books. Many, many, many other languages. Next. And this is my model. Under me, government. Everybody was panic. And then this recovery, transformative, adaptive. And we are here, 2030. Class of Titans, I think. Class of Titan, uh, China and the West will. I don't know, hopefully not nuclear war, but. Yeah, Cold War for sure, Cold War for sure, for sure. And 23, 24, 25 will be political, uh, political year. And we predicted that 2026 to 2030 will be the, the new world order, visionary. So SDG, Gen Z, and Metaverse. We believe on those three. Yeah? We see in Europe, wow, every... Everything goes green, everything goes net zero. Pak Hasan Craig, ya Pak, shake hand with you, and then I will give one book with you. Ya, Pak, take picture. Sorry, sorry. This is Indonesian style. This, yeah, I wanted to say this. So please, take picture. I want to, to work with my Pua, because I'm the founder of Asia Council Small Business Bank. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
<laughs> okay. <coughs> Sorry, I continue. Yeah? So, this is missionary field. The five years, new world order. We believe, Philip Potter and I believe that from 2026 and to, to 2030, we are not expert in geopolitics, but we use instinct that five years before SDG, five years before SDG, everybody will pretend to be good. Whether it is real good or not, I don't know, but everybody will pretend to be good. SDG, Gen Z, and Metaverse. Metaverse will be here. So that's why now this entrepreneurial marketing group must be adjusted to the fact, to the reality of 2030. Next. Ah, this is the model. CL, Creativity, Innovation, Entrepreneurship, Leadership, CL, is created by human. But productivity, improvement, professional management, be careful. It could be replaced by machine. Productivity for sure. Improvement for sure. Professionalism for sure. Accountant professional? No. Accountant cannot work anymore because you just put the data, input the data, and that's done. And my colleague, Pak Eri, will discuss about digital digitalization. Hopefully, he will be in line with us. Now, everybody are panic about chat GPT. Wow. And somebody in, I don't know, in, in where, ask me, Hey, Ermawan, how about chat GPT? Chat GPT, you can ask anything. You don't need CL anymore. Oh, chat GPT. I'm sure that chat GPT will have competitors. And there are so many chat GPT. Like now, you go to Google, you don't know. Which information is credible, which information is right, which information is wrong. Why we don't use machine? We have to use machine. We cannot ignore machine. Let machine improve our productivity and manage our professionalism. So if we divide into two, C, I, and E, L, actually P, I, and P, N. So we have left and right. And this is marketing, because marketing people must be creative, innovative, and leadership. But finance people, finance people usually, usually, more focus on productivity, improvement, professionalism, and management. After teaching 20 years, I was working for two companies owned by my ex-student. Papa, you, you work with me. Experience after teaching, teaching, teaching. But after five years, I set up my own company. 23 years now, is consulting company. Now 300 people working for me uh, for consulting, research, training, and everything in Indonesia. And we just opened again in Kuala Lumpur for ASEAN. And finance people usually focus on productivity improvement. Marketing people usually always compete, competing with finance people. Always argue, argue, argue in the meeting. Marketing language is very different from finance language. But we predicted and we argue in this book and why we like it so much that we have to integrate the contrasting thing. Marketing and finance, technology and humanity, and also creativity with professionalism, innovation with development, entrepreneurship and professionalism, leadership and management. Like yin yang. In Chinese, they call it yin yang. In Bali, if you go to Bali, our traditional costume, with box, white box and black box. Uh -huh. White and black Square. is two contrasting things, but the Balinese believe that if you don't understand about bad things, you will not appreciate the white things. 
So white things and black things must be collaborating, <laughs> or we have to understand. Uh, to so we have to understand machine. We cannot anti machine. We have, we cannot ignore machine. Let machine doing the improvement, productivity, professional management, but. Without creativity, productivity will be limited. Without innovation, improvement will be limited. Without entrepreneurship, professionalism will be limited. Leadership, management will be limited. So if we are human, used to be here, with the machine, give the machine the role to replace us here. But don't worry, as long as you enhance your capacity to see it. So that's why, I have one son, one daughter. I send my son and my daughter since junior high school to the US. And then my daughter told me, Pa, in Indonesia, you ask me to get AAA in mathematics, in science, but here, no. Drawing, speaking, debating, sport. It's very important, the same, the same with mathematics. Mathematics is nothing. That's why all creative people go to Silicon Valley. But when I was in Interlaken, I was in Zurich, wow, this country, Switzerland, less than 10 million. All the gondola using the technology, wow, Anchor Express. More than 100 years, they have the technology, safe. Swiss technology, but so many advertising about Rolex, about, and then we went to Jungfro, you went to Lin, the home of chocolate. Mm. You went, you went. So Switzerland, I think, is one of the best example how to integrate machine and human, machine and human. But I don't know. This digital time is another, 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 another era. But. 5D, 4C, PDB, 9E, I don't need to explain because this is about my marketing model that will quarter like it. 5D, 5 drivers. 4C is competitor, customer, company, and change. PDB is positioning, differentiation, branding. So every time I was asked to speak at the diplomat school in Indonesia, I I, I was asked to talk about marketing, I always talk about PDP. The real marketing is not communication, it's not selling, but how you can differentiate your country. How you differentiate your country? Positioning, differentiation, branding. Without differentiation, you are not marketing. Communication is one part of the marketing. 9E. Nine, e. Nine elements with segmentation, targeting, positioning. Differentiation, marketing, make selling, brand service process. I don't need to, to explain it to, 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 to long, but so many misunderstanding that marketing is communication, marketing is selling, and all salesmen, all communication is oversell. That's why nobody believe on marketing anymore. Marketing have bad impact. That's why from marketing three point no, I told the professor we have to reform. To understand the marketing. Yeah? So, say 5D, 4C, PDB, 9E. If you are interested, you can buy another book in Amazon. We will talk about this one. But the previous book. And balance it, income statement, cash flow, and market value is another common word in finance. So, my model is to combine everything. If you have creativity by seeing the driver of the change, you see, my driver, technology, political, legal, economy, social, culture, and market, if you see the, the changes, trend, and then you see, we can improve the value With less asset, we can have more return, return on asset. So productivity will improve, and foresee the real advantage how we compete with our competitor and in order to win the customer wow. we will have improvement in income statement, profit and loss margin will be improved and PDB, the more differentiate, the more 
you become a professional. If I go to marketing school and then, okay, differentiation, once I get, I get differentiation five years more, five years later, nobody can guarantee that somebody else not copy our differentiation, right? When I differentiate my product now, maybe tomorrow, another competitor will copy us. And no differentiation anymore. So that's why we have to create another differentiation. And then, our cash flow will be better. And if there is harmony and line harmony, so our market value will be up. So, everything must be reflected in operation. So that's why this is only episode one. What makes Wiley interested in my model? This is what we call Omni model, Omni house model. Episode 2 will be out two years from now about operation. I will detail operation. Operation is what human resources and technology, and supply chain and blah blah blah. QCD, quality, cost and delivery. And it must be reflected here. Marketing and finance, technology, humanity, blah 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 must be reflected here. So COO must understand finance, must understand marketing. COO must understand technology and must understand human resources. I think it is gone the time that we only focus in one function only. No. You can focus in one function, but you have to know the general knowledge about everywhere. This is the Omni House model. And the second episode will be about operation, and the third episode will be. I promise you, new bells for cut will be born. Maybe some of you are familiar with bells for cut. Bells for cut was created by Kaplan of Norton, two accounting professor, 1992 already. They try to balance accounting, marketing, and four states: accounting, marketing, and operation, and then another one is dynamic. Learning, learning, learning. I will simplify into three only. Marketing, finance, and, 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 and operation. So I promise to Wiley, the, the new balance call that from account, from marketing point of view, not from accounting point. Kaplan and Norton is accounting point of view. This is from marketing point of view. I promise you 2027. Hopefully, I can still can improve this model becoming the new balance call that from marketing people, this is the spirit of Asia to the world, and hopefully I can contribute to Indonesia also with the new brands for that uh, real contribution to the business world all over the world. That's why uh, Wiley happy. Ah, Hermawan, please, please, please work until 2027 with William Cotter. So I hope the new Asian model will come to the world, from Asia to the world. Next, and this one, Omnistar, Omnistar and Zombie, Zombie, no, no entrepreneurship, no professionalism, Zombie, that's why, why 90% of SME fail, only 5% I think from SME becoming very successful, because SME in general, to be honest, sorry, so sorry to talk about SMB. All government always help SMB. I used to be the like advisor to the Minister of Small Medium Enterprise in Indonesia and I talked in UN New York for three times about why SMB in general does not work in, in, in the world. Because they are not entrepreneur and they are not professional. Helped by the government all the time. All the time. So, if you are real, real entrepreneur, you must have strong entrepreneur. But if you don't have professionalism, you become a startup. Startup is very entrepreneur. There are two tools, anything, but no professional. But if you are too professional, like giant, sluggish giant, big corporation, big corporation are trapped. In professionalism, nobody entrepreneur anymore. They are waiting. They like machine. They wait for the instruction. The bigger the organization, 
free IBM, not share. But here, share, 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 but not no free IBM. So we have to combine share to create more productivity, more improvement, more professionalism, more management. CL cannot work without PIBM, but PIBM cannot work. You are not competitive anymore if you are not CL. That's why when a diplomat asks me, it is relevant for diplomat, yes, in diplomatic. I'm honorary consul general of Czech Republic for 18 years. I was teaching about marketing in Prague two times because the government of uh, of Czech invited me to come here, to come there to, to talk with all diplomats of Czech Republic from all over the world. I said, wherever you are posted, remember differentiation. You are not the superpower. Superpower may be yeah, US. Maybe they are thinking that they are superpower, but China want to become the, 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 the other superpower and they will be no Superpower, but what is the the differentiation of US? It's better to talk about differentiation, not the best. You don't need to be the best, you don't need to be better, you just need to be different. But when one, one country catching you up with the differentiation, you have to be different again. Why BDS from Korea all of a sudden becoming like that? You are very different. Very different. Very different. But somebody will catch up with the differentiation. I think BTS must, Blackpink must, must, must change the differentiation anymore. So we have to combine professionalism and entrepreneurship. At the end of the day, creativity must have more productivity. Innovation must have more improvement. Entrepreneurship must uh, help you to be more professional. And leadership must help you to be more entrepreneurial. And the last slide. From me, next. Uh, oh, Natu Natu, India, just. Uh, and first Asian best actress, Michelle Yeoh from Malaysia. I think because they are different. Creative and produce productivity. Nobel uh, Oscar Prize, right? Indian, <laughs> Indian judge. Very creative. And maybe the judge they don't understand what is this one. Maybe they are tired already with the wars, with the whatever, ballet, eh? Yeah, sounds good, eh? Sounds good, okay, okay, this is uh, maybe. And we shall do, okay. Asian lady like this, uh, this uh, the, 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 this is, uh, different is next. Uh, last, last slide. Last, last slide. Uh, this is Indonesia, the letter. This is the letter. Why you call it? What is why you call it in Indonesia? Everything. Puppet. Puppet. Ah, Pulau Kawan is like this. Yeah. Next. Next. Pulau Batu. This is interesting. If you see. Next. 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 Ah, this is the puppet. Next, I will go to end my presentation by seeing, uh, showing to you that the original concept from India. If you are familiar with Mahabharata, Mahabharata, and there is a war over there, and Pandawa, Pandawa is the symbol. Next, uh, this is Indonesia, this is Indonesia, this is Jawa, Bali. Next. This is Bali, Rihita Karana, Harmony with God, Nature and People. Ah, this is Punokawan. This is Punokawan. CL, Creativity, Innovation, Entrepreneurship, Leadership. Bangkok, Metro, Gareng, Semar. We don't need to understand. Ask the ambassador. <laughs> but this is unique in Indonesia, only from Indonesia. The original story from, from India, only Pandawa. Nakulo Sadewo, the twin brothers, and then Arjuna, improvement, and Bimo is the professional, and then Yudhistiro, the brother, the elder brother, is the manager, manager. And 
So Mark is the father, the father of the all of the three uh of Nawan. Next. And this is CL and the idea. Bakong Petro Garden Smart. Ideas, solution, value, creating value, values. If you create value without values, you becoming what here? Without values, right? And then this is productivity, the twin brother, improvement, Arjuno, and Pimo, professionalism, and management. Yudhisthira, the elder one, Pandawa Punakawan. This will be replaced by machine. This is the real human. Next. Uh, Akong Mito Garismar. Next. Yeah, this is Pandawa. Next. The last, last slide, I think. Ah, uh, this is uh, Switzerland. I went to Lin. Wow, oh, this is human. The Titanic, this is human. Mobile pick, this is human. But technology in Switzerland is amazing. So I will end my presentation. So the message is so clear. In this more uncertain world, yeah, nobody can predict when the Russia-Ukraine war will end. Now Xi Jinping in Russia, I don't know what happened after this. ICC already uh, put something on Putin, I, we don't know. And after that, I don't know what happened in the world if China and US will have a cold war and blah 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 and we are in Geneva and we are in New York City we'll be confused how to solve the problem of the world maybe everybody including the world must combine CRM, PITM and get day-to-day relations thank you so much Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh for your short but excellent presentation. It is very remarkable, if I may say it, how the only house model could leave the relevant uh, elements related to marketing department. From marketing, technology, humanity, finance, creativity, innovation, entrepreneurship, leadership, productivity, improvement, etc. etc. I imagine how the group is played the relation among all of them. Um, very clearly. And we look forward back for your next book uh, in 27, is it? Uh, on uh, marketing balance for cars. Uh, I don't come from the marketing, sec the marketing sector, but uh, after reading a little bit about, about your book, it seems uh, very, very relevant with all, with all other sectors. In this regard, uh, we believe that it is very appropriate since we are in white book building. We could also discuss the relation of the book uh, with the IT sector. Uh, for this, we have here today uh, Eric Persetio, uh, one of Indonesia's brightest working WIPO. Uh, so, without further ado, I can invite Pak Eri to provide his remarks and presentation. Thank you very much, Pak Andri, uh, His Excellency Ambassador, Permanent Representative of the Republic of Indonesia to the UN, the of International Organizations in Geneva. Pak Hermawan Kertajaya, Indonesia's marketing guru, an inspiration for all entrepreneurs, I think. And ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I would like to first convey my gratitude and appreciation to the permanent mission and Pak Hermawan for the opportunity to participate as a discussion within this uh, very important event, which is the book launch of the book entrepreneurial marketing that all of us have just heard from Pak Hermawan himself. Well, I will only share, first of all, uh, Pai Mawan mentioned that life starts at 70, so I'm not even born yet. <laughs> so maybe, I'm sorry, but I'm not as inspirational as uh, the ambassador at Pai Mawan. And so I would really understand if you feel a bit sleepy, you can still have coffee while I'm speaking, so it's fine. Uh, I think you can take coffee and then, and then, and then, and then, and then go back and, and, and continue the discussion. Well. In brief, I will share two main points as a as discussion with this book launch. First would be, I would like to point and some of the highlights within the book that are related on the connection between intellectual property and entrepreneurship and businesses. And then I would continue on with what WIPO actually do in our program and activities uh, that support all entrepreneurs everywhere in the world to unlock a value addition and competitive advantage through intellectual property, which is something that 
that Pak Hermawan was already mentioning, you know, how to how to transform creativity and innovation to store such an abstract concept, right? Everybody throw the word I'm creative, I'm innovative, you hear this in every meeting, in every uh, focus group discussion, in every speech of the president or MPs, they talk about creativity and innovation. But these are just abstract concepts. The embodiment of this abstract, the concrete embodiment of these ab abstract concepts are intellectual property. Your creativity and innovation will work nothing if it doesn't, if you, if you don't turn it into trademark, industrial design, patent, trade secret, or other kind of intellectual property. Well, uh, the first part would be, uh, I would like to talk about the Omni House model that you just heard before, and its connection with, with IP, because Pak Hermawan Kertajaya has mentioned uh, the three key points, which is positioning, differ differentiating, and brand. And here, if you want to position yourself, you want to differentiate yourself, you, you want to have a strong brand, you need trademark and design. This is the easiest, the, the, the easiest forms of intellectual property to acquire, which is trademark and design. You can have strong trademark, but then if your design is not good, you cannot really differentiate and position yourself within this very crowded market. Like Mahirmawan also mentioned in the book, uh, in the future we will have a very crowded market because of digi digi digitalization. Anyone can search for anything. Now if you want to look for something, you just Google it or put in in the internet, I want this. If your brand is not strong, if your design and packaging are not differentiating yourself from your competitor, then people will just pick the cheapest one they can find on the internet. They will not Google your trademark. They will just Google, oh, I want a soda instead of a particular brand name. But if you have a strong trademark, strong identification and differentiation through IP, people will search for your mark in the internet, and your competitor will not show up. Only your product and services will show up in this crowded market. So this is very important, uh, and, and this is what the book is actually talk about. You know how to how to position yourself and differentiate yourself from your competitors, and this should be protected through IP. And second, the book also uh, dig deep on rethinking competition, and in order to compete in a very crowded market and a very digitalized market that we have today. Uh, we have to, and Pahirmawan in the book talk about unforgiving players in, in crowded market. This is where IP is coming to solve all of the challenges, you know. Again, like, like what I said, uh, for example, uh, Iger, that, that, that you were just there to open the first shop in Switzerland. So, this is very important actually. Uh, just, just a quick uh, remark. Indonesia only joined the Madrid system in 2018. So, the Madrid system allows any company to register their trademark in one IP office and then they can pick the Madrid route so that it will be registered in other territories that is, uh, you know, beyond the national territories of where that company is. And Iger is one of the first Indonesian company to use the Madrid route after Indonesia joined Madrid. And now they open their store in Switzerland. So this also highlights how IP is important to enter foreign market. Why it is important to enter foreign market? If you don't have your IP protected and you want to export your surface, your products or services, right? First of all, you are very prone to imitation because your 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 partner know that your IP are not protected. So so then you don't have the guarantee to make sure that, that whatever product or services you try to export will be protected in that market. So this is actually one of the reasons why it is, it is very important and, and the book has actually talked about a lot of uh, intellectual, intellectual property. So I will not really going on deeper, you really have to get the book and read it. It really goes towards the future of, of the world economy, the future of how consumers will react, the future of entrepreneurship and IP is really in the center of it. Uh, what I would like to highlight now is what WIPO actually do, because WIPO share, share this as the ambassador has mentioned earlier in his opening remark. The director general actually uh, want to make sure that WIPO programs and activities will also be there for the underserved communities of intellectual property. These underserved communities are usually entrepreneurs that are SMEs or women or youth. So we want to make sure that this these future entrepreneurs, SMEs, women, and youth will use their IP so that they can actually gain competitive advantage and make sure they get value addition through their creation and innovation. You know, otherwise again, their creativity and innovation will be just an abstract concept. It will never be 
something concrete. It will never be something that they can transmit to their balance sheet. It, it will remain as an intangible asset. You cannot put it as a tangible asset if you don't transform your creativity and innovation into intellectual property. So, so this is what what WIPO is doing. WIPO makes sure that IP will defend competitive space. WIPO makes make sure that that IP will increase visibility in the crowded market. WIPO makes sure with, with through its program and activities on this issue of IP financing. So when you have trademark, your design, your patent, your trade secret, you can actually use it as a as a leverage to to negotiate or even as a collateral to financial institutions so that your intangible asset will have value and be something in the book, you know, how to make sure that, that creativity will also be reflected in the balance sheet. You know, it's not something that is totally different, you know. And then uh, and this uh, for for all the member states you can always contact the IP for business division. They have all the tools to support SMEs, to support women, to support youth, to support any entrepreneurship to make sure they can use their IP. And maybe lastly, what Pak Hermawan was mentioning already about uh, his next book on on the future, you know, on metaverse, AI, and blockchain. WIPO also very active in this. I'm sure you all know about the WIPO conversation within our division, which is the IP and Frontier Technologies. And there have been discussions, there have been activities that, that WIPO is trying to to make sure that, that we're in line with our mission, you know, to lead the development of a balanced international intellectual property system that works for everyone. The IP and Frontier Technology has been doing a lot of activities that I suggest you all follow, including things on blockchain, artificial intelligence, and metaverse. And actually, this end of this month, which is 29th and 30th of March, they will have the seven WIPO conversation on IP and metaverse. And you can all participate. Yeah, you can participate online. Just register. Uh, it, it's on the WIPO website. Uh, I think I will not really uh, spend more time. I think I have made my points clear that whatever the books, maybe it's not. It's about marketing. This is way more than IP, but it is actually there's a lot of things on intellectual property that it also highlights the importance of intellectual property. And WIPO is here to help member states or everyone, not just member states. You know, we we, we work with with private sector, with SMEs, with, with NGOs, with universities to ensure that creativity and innovation would be transformed into something concrete that helps that helps everyone everywhere solve challenges. So again, thank you very much for the opportunity. Very clear, very clear. Thank you, I truly agree with that. It's very clear, very uh, concise. Yes. Uh, the Irish uh, explain uh, very clearly how uh, the IP is very related to your book and with marketing, I mean, in, uh, with, uh, with business, and how IPO is trying to uh, to uh, push entrepreneurs to uh, uh, to understand IP, including its finance uh, aspects. Uh, thank you, Irish, again. And, uh, for our last uh, session, we uh, I think we, sh we should pro uh, provide a opportunity for uh, the viewers to uh, uh, have questions. To so as a question, uh, I guess from the uh, from here or from, from the Zoom. country, but I will start small, small and explain myself in English. First, I came here by the name of His Excellency, our Ambassador from Togo in Geneva, I'm Mohamed Nordin Singh, and Minister, I'm Minister Consul. When I was coming here, I asked myself, what, what am I going to do? I come, there was food. I said, no, I, want, I don't want to eat. I want to know what is happening. Really, I'm, I'm surprised. And if we steadily look about uh, and understand what you have said, 
I'm sure that peace will wake up and war will break will be breaking with your model. But what I want you to know is there is something in the West. We African people we are rising up, inshallah. We're going to learn about your model and take more experience and more uh, comprehension of those kind of system. And uh, I thank you very much. And me and, just an parenthesis, me and uh, Indonesia is alive. My scholarship was paid by Mohamed Ghazali, who was director of scholarship in the Bank of Arabic, Bank Arab, Musulman of Saudi Arabia. And I was very happy when I met the famous people of your country at Saudi Arabia when I was invited by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. I don't want to go back and do the report to my ambassador without having your book. It's not forgiven. I'm ready to buy it. So thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next, we have a question from the Zoom. Challenges you, you had and your, your colleagues had uh, in writing this book. And finally, whether uh, there's going to be a plan to continue uh, the next topic in relation with the book. You have to explain a little bit before, right? Uh, and uh, what will be the focus in, in this book? I think that's the true question. Yeah, thank you for the question. Question number one. There is a big difference between Industry 4.0 and Society 5.0. So many people are confused that we are in Industry 5.0 already. No. To me, Industry is still 4.0. That's why Marketing 4.0, my book about five years ago, is about technology in Industry 4.0. So, until now, I think most technology are still 4.0 and the term 4.0, industry 4.0 was secret by Germany for the first time, I think. But 5.0 was secret by Japan. Yeah? Society 5.0. That's why my book, Marketing 5.0, the subtitle is Technology for Humanity. So we dedicate the technology for good. Don't use the technology for bad. So that's why how to use the CL in Industry 4.0, I think it's very clear. If you only focus how to use Industry 4.0, technology 4.0, might be, might be dangerous in order to go to bad impact to the customer as human. That's why we have SMART. SMART is the symbol of leader. Leader is about values. Entrepreneur is garen. Garen is about value. So creating value with values. So we divide into two parts. CI, creativity, ideas, into Solution. Solution is innovation. But if there are no entrepreneurs who want to take risks and the creator forget to register in WIPO, I think 
the entrepreneur will not pay anything to the creator, just salary probably. In Japan, Japanese company, many creators only paid by salary because they are very loyal to the company. So there must be an entrepreneur to see that this innovation will work. And but leader is always the guy. How to create value with values. So I think this is the point for question number one. Question number two, yeah, I'm the originator, but Dr. Jackie Musri, Dr. Jackie Musri from my company in Jakarta as the fourth co-author here. He has been working with me 25 years. He has a PhD and he can combine right brain and left brain because he used to be number one top DJ in Indonesia. So CR is in his practice, but PIPM also because he is a PhD. So he can combine, he write the book, he is the real writer, he is the the one who find the example and blah 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 and working with Professor Philip Kotler and Wiley and Professor Hui Ten Wan from Nanyang Techno uh, University in Singapore helped a lot with many many things to complete the book and number three is about yes next topic will be Episode, episode two. I I talk about episode two. Two years from now, I already wrote to Wiley that now we are going everywhere to promote this book to help. Even you are very optimistic, but we are still promoting because of the ambassador here. We can use this very prestigious building in Waipo. And the next will be entrepreneurial marketing too. But that is the temporary title. But it will be focusing on the operation itself. But we will maintain marketing and finance. And the third episode will be in 2027, the new balance contract. The new balance contract. Right. Uh, yeah. uh, I open again the floor, although I see the questions in uh, the Zoom. Uh, uh, thank you so much. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank the uh, Mission of Indonesia, Indonesia for creating this session and also for the insightful presentation that we have here. Uh, I'm here from Permanent Mission of Iran and I would like to ask His, uh, His Excellency a question regarding the metaverse. You know, uh, everybody aware about the roles of uh, uh, digital platforms in trade and commerce. But the next, next step would be the using the, I should say, metaverse in, in trend, uh, as, uh, as one of our scientists predicted in 20 years ago. And I would like to know the ex Excellency's view regarding this issue that, that, that the next step, what would be how, how, how it can happen and how it can be possible to use metaverse for, for commerce and trade. Thank you so much. Elaborate again. Uh, one of our scientists 20 years ago uh, predicted that the, the role of IT in trade and I should say uh, in, in, in the in, in internal issue and also in, in, in international trade. Nowadays, uh, somebody talks about the roles of metaverse in trade. For example, we can sit here, metaverse can take to the Paris. You can go to a, sh to a shopping center, you can buy something and back to the uh, to your place without doing travel or without going to the uh, that, that place. So it's something all scientists predict 20 years ago and I would like to know if it can be happened or, or not. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. I think I will, I will first say something about it, maybe if I have no one who wants to add question. So I think this is something that at least we in Wipe are very exciting, excited about, and I think this, this might actually be very true. We have seen some sort of uh, prototypes of it, you know, some, we, we have seen the 
the first beta version, if I may say, uh, being launched or, or being rolled out uh, by, by some companies. But, but again, no matter what, whether it is through metaverse or, or digitalization, but, but, but we still touch upon something that, that rings true, even though we apply it to today's uh, reality, right? which, is, which is a very crowded market with, very, with a lot of competitors that, again, because, because I'm from Bible, so maybe I will, I, will, I will again emphasize you on the fact that in this kind of world, your intellectual property is what really matters, you know? Because actually, again, this actually starts even before, even before Meta first, when globalization first starts. So before globalization, for example, uh, uh, forgive me if, if this, so I would just like to make this as an, as an example. For example, before globalization, if we want carpet, we will buy it from Iran, it's a Persian carpet. After globalization, anywhere in the world can make carpet. Right? And then, and then you have to, to use IP from geographical indication to actually differentiate the Persian the Persian tapi, otherwise then, then someone in another country can make a very similar product like what the Persian do and just sell it as a Persian carpet. So even before, even before meta first, this is something that, 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 that we are already, we, we, we have to, to face the challenges already, right? We, we are facing with a crowded market since globalization. Before it was only the Italian and the French that can make wine, now even in Bali we make wine. So how do the French and Italian wine fight for this competition. Globalization makes allows that everyone everywhere can produce anything they want. Right? And this is where intellectual property then become very important. And what Metaverse is going to do with, with this prediction will be the same impact as globalization has been done to us. Which is you have to be able to position yourself, you have to be able to, to differentiate yourself, you have to be able to transform your creativity and innovation into value, which is true intellectual property. You have to defend your competitive space. Because you can be creative, you can be innovative, but in the world of metaphors and, global, and globalized world, if you don't defend your competitive space through IP, everyone will just copy what you do, and, and your creativity and innovation will, will add no value to whatever products and services you're, you're done. Okay, I'm sorry, but I will just focus on the IP side on this. I will ask if Paharmawan wants to add one or two words with regard to this question. So, thank you. Now, I'm a little bit clear about the uh, because I think this is thing is not bad, not good one. So if we are talking about metaphors, even more dangerous. Because people can use avatar, right? So which one is the real one, which one is the fake one, we don't know. So that's why our next book, not not enterprise marketing episode two, but Marketing 6.0 by Wiley will be out this December. We'll, we will warn. And now there is a WIPO officer. Please think about the fake thing. The fake thing in technology. I'm sure that UN will already discuss about technology for good. I know but University of Gajamada are now working together with UNESCO to work on ethics on IT. So what is the ethic have to be used in IT? But now the ethics is only you cannot use internet in or, or social media to just say something without proof and anything. But in metaphors, you will be easily to to be somebody else, right? And how how uh, WIPO now will transform itself in giving the intellectual right not only for those who register but really, really have to be proved that this is the real real one. And I believe if WIPO do it, it will be a strong differentiator, differentiator for, the, for the player, I think. Uh, any more questions? Yes. Uh, hello, Pak. My name is Dika Agustian. I'm a student in hospitality industry management. Uh, I would like to ask you, Pak Edmawan. Uh, my thesis said 
uh, we didn't get money from the time, but we get money from value, bring it to less market. And then the question is, do we possible to make it value twice as possible, and what is the step is? Thank you. Switzerland, Switzerland, so many good brands from Switzerland. Eh? Brand means value. We at marketing world, we believe only three. Customer, product, and brand. And brand is the value creator. Not product, actually. Product, people can, 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 can copy your product more easily than copy your brand, right? And customer, customer, yeah, Customer is very important, but customer can switch from one product to another product. So, the only way to win the competition is how to create strong brand. Maybe by register also registering our brand in WIPO with a very strong uh, supervision. But don't forget to create more and more differentiation. And the more the differentiation, must go into values. If you don't go into values, you differentiate yourself into bad things. I think your brand will be ruining from time to time. I don't know. Hopefully it, 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 it will answer your, your question. Uh, perhaps this is the last question from the Zoom. Uh, 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 Mr. Sampuma has asked to read it for him. Uh, Indonesia is uh, coming to the, uh, the second year after the pandemic. Uh, it is hoped that the small enterprises uh, will boost uh, the economy of the country. And uh, he would like to know how the book would help uh, the small medium enterprises to, to do this. In particular, uh, using the four Actually, I already go to many cities in Indonesia, also many cities in the world, because I used to be the special advisor to the Minister of Small Medium Enterprise for five years. So I went to United Nations to New York for three times, speaking here, speaking there in Italy. And so, in general, small medium enterprise character is the same. Every country in the, in, 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 in the world. They want to be protected by the government. They want to get uh, not only protection. They want to get help. They want to get everything. And with too much help, sometimes the entrepreneur will not become the real entrepreneur. For example, in Indonesia, the government already have a lot of budget to promote the product through offline exhibition and online trading. But if they put in the exhibition and they put on the online, and they are not pulling awan, they don't have pulling awan spirit, they don't have creativity, they don't have innovation, they are not a real entrepreneur, they don't have the real leadership. Finally. They cannot sell the product. And then, after what, they always go back to the government, please, help to buy the product. That is not, not the mentality of small medium. That's why I always say that be the real entrepreneur. If you want to be small medium enterprise, small medium entrepreneur, entrepreneur means that you dare to fall. The dare to wake up again after falling down and not to repeat the same cause. 
the same reason why you fall, right? If you fall two times or three times with the same reason, uh, you don't learn anything. So a lot of work to be done, not only in Indonesia and all over the world. Yeah? Thank you. Thank you, Pak Okay. Last question. Yes, last question. So, um, it's all about the personal branding. What would you advise uh, to be as um, when you want to, to go to a uh, marketplace? What is your best advice? And what is the um, 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 connecting between marketing strategy and negotiation in the point of view? That's all. Thank you very much. Personal branding and then marketing and uh, negotiation. What is this related? Negotiation. Negotiation is not being actually. You must learn from diplomat. Yeah. But it is related. You know, PDB is the core of marketing. Positioning, branding, branding. So personal branding is part of personal marketing for sure. So that's why. Don't even think that marketing is only communication and selling. But you must have your own position. If you want to do personal branding for you, yourself, think about personal position. I didn't complete my bachelor degree, right? In the beginning in, 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 in Indonesia. Yeah, finally I got my bachelor degree. But I don't position myself as a scholar. I position myself as a practitioner who simplify the complex thing. And I don't need to be a professor because professor complicates the simple thing. <laughs> so I differentiate my, myself very clear. But now, so many motivators also. And then I have to differentiate myself again from motivators. How I can differentiate? I'm not a motivator. I'm a thinker. And I share my thing. So that is the way I differentiate from motivator. Sometimes you go to motivator session, you get inspired after one hour, and then you forget about what is the content of the session. But with me, you always get the, ses the, the content. That is the difference. Yeah? And negotiation, yes. Because selling is one part, one element of marketing. Marketing is nine element, remember? Segmentation, targeting, positioning, STP, DMS, differentiation, marketing, mix, and selling, and DPSP, brand service process. So, selling is negotiation, and must create win-win, right? Negotiation must create win-win. Mm -hmm. Or at least perceive win-win, at least. Ah, you 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 learn from diploma how to create perceive win win. So the other part of negotiation must feel that they win also, right? We win and they win, and the relationship can go forever. Yeah, that's why don't fire the bridge. I learned from diploma diploma part because I teach in diploma school many many times more than twenty times. And my, my student told you that you must learn from us. What uh, don't buy the bridge. Because if you don't burn the bridge, if you burn the bridge, you will not get there. When you did get there <laughs> anytime. Thank you. Thank you very much. Unfortunately, unfortunately we have to conclude our session, but of course we can continue our question and answers. Well I agree, say maybe and uh, so uh, again, on behalf of the uh, Prime Minister of Indonesia uh, and the Pahimawa team, uh, we would like to thank you for uh, attending our event here, especially with our speakers, Pahimawa uh, and Sandy.
Another round of applause uh, for the speaker. Um, um, right now I'm with uh, Bahir Mawan Katarjaya um, from Surabaya. I also teach online, part-time online teacher at the University of Surabaya. But Bahir Mawan Katarjaya, we know uh, he is the guru of marketing in Asia. So do you have something to say regarding the innovation? Innovation is quite uh, costly, but and for SMEs in Indonesia, it's uh, quite hard. Uh, and they are struggling with this kind of innovation. <laughs> Buying machine, for example, it's also very expensive and this kind of like hard for them to, 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 to create and to uh, materialize their uh, creativity to innovate new products. Yeah. Actually, to be honest, I graduated from University of Surabaya. University of My Surabaya. My specialty ah, yes. in business school. Yes. That is number one. Number two, so many misunderstanding about creativity and innovation. People think that creativity in the innovation always needs money. But right. creativity is what I teach. Actually. Right. So I give you the example. Balinese are very creative. They don't need to go to school. They can dance, they can uh, make a statue, yes. and they can paint and anything. But sometimes they need help from the bully, the Western people, to come to Bali to confirm the creativity becoming innovation. Like, ah. for example, ketchup. Ketchup, I heard that the original ketchup then is two hours. Too long yes. to, to do it for a show business. Right. So, the Western guy make it into only 15 minutes ketchup. Becoming innovation. So, Creativity, innovation, not always expensive. But ideas, ideas that win the competition. All right. So innovation is the solution. Right. Yeah. Creativity is about ideas. So creativity, but ideas, how to maximize and our entrepreneur right, yeah. is who will take risks to do it. Yes. Oh, Keta, only 15 minutes now? Yes. Not two hours? Take risks. Okay, sell. Very and, innovative. And leader must maintain that 15 minutes but must have good content. The core content must be there. Guys, yes. That's us. Yeah, this is very valuable. Thank you very much, but, uh, Hermawan, for this uh, sharing. Great to see you. So, after attending the book's launching at the uh, uh, World intellectual property organizations i feel that his presentation uh, was really amazing his explanation was very clear and um, i can learn something from uh, from him although i haven't had his book yet but yes uh, i would like to emphasize on the uh, the concept that he uh, uh, conveyed uh, during this uh, presentation during this uh, book's launching where he said that uh, Profitable organization uh, should have uh, applied this CL. Um, CL is the abbreviation of uh, creativity, innovation, and uh, entrepreneurship, as well as leadership. But this concept uh, cannot uh, work alone. It has to be combined with uh, the concept of uh, PI, P, PI, PM. Uh, P is uh, productivity, I improvement and uh, M is uh, uh, P is professionalism and the management itself. So uh, these two concepts have to be uh, mingled, have to be combined well in order to achieve um, the goal of the uh, uh, organization. So I, guys, I don't want to uh, sum up because you guys have already watched. I expect that you guys follow uh, his presentation and also the uh, uh, question answer session was also a very uh, intriguing and interactive from the audiences so uh, leave it up to you to uh, to summarize this video and um, if you like this video please um, don't forget to uh, hit like button and also uh, provide uh, with your best comments and uh, you can also share this video with your friends and also of course uh, thanks a lot for uh, subscribing or supporting my youtube channel by clicking subscribe uh, button and please hit the uh, uppermost bell icon uh, so that you will get the notifications once uh, i upload new video 
All right, I'm Didi Le Javane. Thanks a lot for watching, and see you again next time. Ciao. As we are having a break at the moment, so we will be enjoying the Indonesian um, snacks. Thank you.